Hello everyone. This video is meant for dentists who are preparing for ECHS interview for the position of dentist or dental officer. And all the questions discussed here are meant to give the candidates an idea of the nature of the questions asked in the interview. So we understand that every interview board is different. And that's why the pattern of questions that a candidate may have to face will always be different. The questions are related to the topics that one has learned during his or her BDS time. The most commonly uh, asked topics are, uh, as mentioned here, so they are extractions, root canal treatment, local anesthesia, medical emergencies, prosto, prost, in prosto, a bit of uh, everything basically because the patients who come there would be aiming at having an RPD or a CD or even FPT so that's why prosthodontics is one of the most commonly asked topics then oral manifestation of various systemic diseases then a uh, basic knowledge of ECHS is also essential another important thing is that the more you answer the questions around the subject the deeper they go to test how thorough you are with your subject so now let, let us take a look at a few of the questions that have been asked by the board. So here is the first one. What are the primary stress bearing areas of the mandible? Uh, the answer is buckle shelf area. They actually keep waiting for you to answer and keep answering. And they give you the impression that there are more primary stress bearing areas. Uh, but then uh, this is the one that is the right one. How much LA is there in a commonly used dental cartridge? And the commonly used dental cartridge contains 1.8 ml of 2% lycopene local anesthetic solution. Then, uh, what is the bubble left in the LA cartridge? And why is it there? So, the bubble is of nitrogen and it prevents the oxygen from being trapped in the cartridge. Uh, this oxygen can actually destroy the vasopressor which is present inside the LA cartridge which is adrenal. That's the reason why this bubble of nitrogen is left inside. Then what is the full form of ECHS? Of course this is something which you should be knowing. This is uh, quite an expected question. So it stands, ECHS stands for X Servicemen Contributory Health Scheme. Uh, then, will you perform extractions on a hyperthyroid patient? Mm, so there are a few points that you have to consider while answering this. Uh, a hyperthyroid patient will have elevated levels of blood pressure and that a stressful dental procedure can elicit a thyrotoxic crisis. So physicians' consent is mandatory and plain LA uh, should be used ideally as vasoconstrictors can further elevate the pressure. Then what are different intracanal medicaments? Mm, calcium hydroxide is a commonly used intracanal medicament. What is the safe dose of LA with and without adrenaline? So the maximum safe dose of LA with epinephrine is 7 mg per uh, kilogram body weight and without epinephrine is 4.4 mg per kilogram body weight. What are the oral manifestations of HIV? So the common oral manifestations are oral candidiasis, hairy leukopathia, carpusy sarcoma, linear gingival erythema, necrotizing ulcerative periodontitis, and actus ulcer. Uh, so Obviously, you can expect questions from the following manifestations that you have just told. Uh, from them, uh, they can even ask you uh, questions like, how do you manage such conditions? So, that also is something which you should be aware about. The next question is, what is the concentration of lignocaine in LA? So, lignocaine hydrochloride is used in 2%, which is 20 mg per milliliter. Based on the concentration of lignocaine in LA, you may get further questions 
which are related to the calculations so uh, that's the reason why this uh, particular uh, concentration should be there in your mind because there will be questions uh, for you which are related to the calculations based on the cal- concentration of the okay. mercury then what is the concentration of adrenaline used generally so uh, the concentration we all know is that we use generally is 1 is to 80000 which means uh, 0.012 mg so that's all uh, in the name of questions uh, that i have compiled for you guys and uh, thank you for watching kindly share the video if you liked it and uh, waiting to uh, create more see you in the next video